Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong and had a question. What is the difference between the light sphere collapsible versus the light sphere universal? And um, most particularly the cloud versus half cloud. So I'll explain really quickly uh, in this video what the differences are. First of all, this is the third generation light sphere, the light sphere universal. And the light sphere universal has our unique and patented strap and band approach for the mounting. And you can see on here, the, basically the way it works, there's no Velcro actually on the unit. There's a band, and then the strap goes around, and when you pull on it like this, it becomes very, very tight. In fact, it's so tight that I can hold the camera up like this, and it's not going to fall off. So if that's not going to fall off, then it's certainly not going to fall off in use. And this was, in the third generation, this was a big innovation that we had, a diffuser that would not fall off. The light sphere collapsible has a white dye and so you can kind of see right here that you can't see my fingers through it. We put the white dye in because what happens on that is that the uh, dome actually disperses light around a little bit more simply because of the dye. So the light sphere universal, the dome, fits with the cup on the inside and so it's it's nice because it, it uh, is compact and it kind of stays out of the way and gives you a very very nice light for when you're shooting forwards it gives you basically this very flat ball but because of the fact that it's inverted and this is the actual center of the dome is closer to the flash there becomes a little bit more of a hot spot in the center. With the lights were collapsible you can mount the dome either straight up or down both ways. But the advantage to having it up like this is that you can have basically a larger diffuser. See the difference in size. And so it, it basically becomes a larger ball. Secondly, when you're shooting fill flash outdoors at say uh, distances greater than eight feet, when you aim it forward you have more of a white ball and when that happens you've got a softer light simply because it's further away from the flash and it fills the bowl much more evenly. A clear material. Now from there it may look like it's a frosted white but it's not. That's actually kind of the effect of what we've done here. Now what I did was I invented these um, horizontal rings and what happens with the horizontal rings is they're like neon tubes. When the light comes up and goes into the bowl it basically picks up the light on the bottom side of the ridges and lights the whole thing up and lights it up very evenly but what's nice about it is that it's a clear material so that it does not take any energy away from the flash and the, the absence of dye is very very uh, good. In fact, any other diffuser that's out there, including our pr prior models, had a white dye in it. And the fact that we were able to do this and make it clear but still soft, and uh, by softness is we, you know, we want to have the light spread completely around the bowl, that we were able to do that. The light sphere collapsible, obviously, is collapsible. And that's one of the key features is that uh, it, was, it was widely asked for uh, to have it collapsible. But it mounts very easily. This is a Nikon SB900, the largest flash head there is out there. Maybe uh, what might be close to it is the Canon 600. And to mount it, I just go like that. So I push it on. You notice I put it on a 45 degree angle. And then I go like that. And now it's up. Now it is a very, very strong grip. In fact, I can hold it like that and it, the camera's not going to fall out. So, if it's not going to fall out again, it's not going to fall out in use. And the last thing I want to have you do is bump into, a, you know, something and have this fall into a wedding cake or something. The other thing too, unlike any other diffuser, is when you want to shoot flat, simply put it down on a flat surface and you've got yourself the flat flash. So if you just want to do, you know, a bounce or something like that, uh, that'll give you a very nice light. It also has these little tab slots that you can put the color gel kit in. But also, with the color accessories, we have the color domes. And these color domes are uh, really handy. You'll see in my special effects section of the YouTube website, I've got all these really crazy special effects that I do with the color domes. But um, the neat thing about these color domes is they also fit on the previous generation light sphere universal. And previously, before the domes came out, you couldn't get color effects on the lights for universal. So now you can. So we've got red, green, amber, and blue.